Today, we're gonna to create edgy fashion portraits using continuous light. What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata and in today's video we're going to talk about creating edgy fashion portraits using continuous light. For this particular light, I'm now obsessed with these. I don't know if you've heard of these. These are the Nanlite Pavotube 2's 6C. C is in Charlie. So these are only about $89 to $99. Check the link below in the description. But these particular lights, they're LED lights and they put out some really cool light. Is that good? Horror lighting? Do I look good? No. No? Yeah, <laughs> So these particular lights, super cool, inexpensive, but they do allow you to create mood in an environment like this. So we're in a very dark room building, bar-like area, but I don't wanna lose that mood by firing flash all over the place, bouncing off the walls. And you might be thinking, well, Sal, if you had more control of your light, true, but then I'm bringing in flats and I'm doing all sorts of things to control the light. Whereas if I wanna move super fast, I can use lights just like this, get a couple of them and completely control the mood. And so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use the same light that's illuminating me. I'm gonna use that on Fallon and then I'm gonna take two of these Pavo tubes and light the pool table. And so there's two scenes in this building that we're gonna do. One is using the pool table. I really do love her pink dress and it just feels powerful. So I just had this vision to have her over the pool table, arms on the table, and then lighting her up that way. And then I do have some architectural elements with the cue sticks kind of leading us to her. And then I'm going to put her in another scene. So we'll look at two different scenes, but let's stop talking about it. Let's get to it. So what did I say? Fallon. Fallon. I don't know where it came from either. Fallon the Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta own this mistake yeah. on video. Yeah. I said, Fallon, it's Farron. I'm so sorry, I screwed that up. I don't know why I screwed it up. This is gonna be very small print at the end of the video, <laughs> unless my wife decides to put me on blast, which I think she's gonna put it on the front page. <laughs> All right, let's get to it with Farron. So as you can see in the video, it is dark in this room, right? That's why we're illuminating me. So I wanna show you what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna turn this on. And this is gonna give us blue light. Now these are RGB lights, so you can set them to any color you want within the RGB spectrum. And then what I'm gonna do is just put each of these here, kind of firing in at a V, illuminating the cue sticks, putting some blue highlights on her skin. You can see that, it looks so good. And then we're gonna softly light her with the same white light that's lighting me. And so this is a nice three light setup. There are some purple lights on the wall that happen to be in the venue. So if you're a wedding photographer, something like that, they've got up lighting in there. But even if you didn't, you can throw a couple of these, fire them up on the wall as well. So let's kind of work on this. The lower body, love the hands, stay there for me though. Chin's gonna just baby down maybe. I like that angle. Brody, let me see some white light on her. Right there, I don't wanna wash out the blue. So I like your body there. How much chin down? Yes, right there. Killer. Give me your eyes. Body stays there. That right elbow, pull it up more. Yep, there we go. Down left. Last few. And one hand's on the hip, maybe. I like the body, like the hand. Good. Yeah, yeah. Eyes on me. Yeah, right there. Love that. It's gorgeous. Stay with it. I want to put you in the chair there. Let's get one leg over there. Can we get that cue stick out of her hands? You know what? I want to move this chair. Let's get you out of it. Yep. There we go. I like that much. Oh, sorry. I like that much better. Love the drink. Love the shoes. Light looks good. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's killer. Yes. Perfect. For the last shot in here, my wife, Alyssa, who's always in charge of things, sees this picture that's backlit. It's got kind of these like big, I don't even know what kind of leaves those are. Anybody, does anybody know? Burn leaves, can't keep a cactus alive, but I don't want, we should not say what they are because we're gonna get corrected in the comments that we're idiots and we don't know anything. More of a reason to say it. Okay, well, she's in the back of her palm trees. 
Okay. okay, yeah. Giant Jurassic palm trees are behind her. Anyway, we wanna have some fun with this, but here's the thing, when you're in such a dark environment, where the lights are placed are gonna matter, right? So we have to be conscious, angle in equals angle out when it comes to lighting. So these lights cannot be showing up in the reflection there, but we also need to illuminate her so she's popping off that. What I wanna do is show you how we're gonna build this. So we've got two of the NAND lights being handheld by Gretchen, who's one of the more professional helping hands that we have here, and then by her husband, Roland, who she decided to bring along for this trip. <laughs> but that was very nice of them to help. So what we're gonna do here, I wanna show you how I'm gonna shoot this, right? So let's actually, guys, turn both lights away from her, just so nothing's hitting her. Let's get that light off her, and then square up to me. Aaron, there you go. So here's with no lights, right, just her. Okay, now let's bring in the edge lights. Okay, so now I'm watching because what you see is what you get and I'm watching, I see how the blue light is shaping the side of her face and I love it with the pink dress and then believe it or not, the hue of that picture in the background is this purplish light. So everything's kind of working together. So now I'm gonna take a shot with just the edge lights on. Okay, and you can see that. Now we're gonna bring in the main light and I have to watch this in the reflection. So what I may do is, Brody, you may have to get taller on this. So I don't know if I can have you standing on this bar, maybe a chair, but what I'm trying to do is that light has to be higher so I'm not seeing it in the reflection. So remember, angle in is angle out. So if that light is at the same level as the camera lens, I'm gonna see it in the reflection behind her. And so let's see if I can get rid of that. And Brody, let's turn the power down on yeah. that. Go to 50% power. Still seeing that if you can go higher. Yep, right about there. Let's see what that's looking like on her. It's beautiful. Here we go, one, two, test shot. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Stunning. Come a little bit closer to me. Right there. So I can hide you right there. Let me see. Come down now, right there. So now go up higher with power. Okay, so now I've got all the lights out of my reflection, so I don't have to edit any of that in post-production, and a Farron is gonna cheat this way with her face looking towards that light or towards me, and that'll give her some split light, maybe even Rembrandt on her face. So we're all set to go. One more test. Gorgeous. Brody, cheat crescent just a little bit. Have the light up so I can tell you where you can be. Find her eyeball. Got it. <laughs> Not Fallon. Farron, you screwed that up. You gotta correct the record. Farron, give him your Instagram. Instagram is F-A-R-E-N-A-I-M-E-E. -E. She is crushing it today. <laughs> the look is incredible. Alyssa put the look together from a stylist perspective. See everybody's contact below for hair and makeup. Keita, where are you at? Oh, she don't wanna be on this video <laughs> this time. She's hiding, did an incredible job with the hair and makeup. All their details are down below. Follow these guys on Instagram. But let us know which one was your favorite. I think the last one was mine. Um, what do you think? Blue on the yellow. You're What's on the yellow. Yeah. The other outfit, this outfit, what's your favorite? Oh, oh, the pool table. Pool table, yeah. all right, powerful. Yeah. Can you even play pool? Yes. Mm -hmm. I know people who say they can play pool. We don't need to talk about that. We're gonna cut, we're gonna cut, we're gonna go play we some, we're gonna go play some eight ball right now. All right, peace out.